So to create stair, just make sure you're in the architecture tab. Then in the circulations panel, let's click the stair command. Then by default, after you enable the stair command, it is set into assemble stair. So what we want to do is the create the monolithic stair, which is cast in place stair. So click the monolithic stair. And then after we have selected the monolithic stair, let's define the actual width. So our width from here and here. So let's dimension them to know kung ano yung width ng stair natin. So 4,100 mm. So let's go back to create stair. Uh, let's click X muna. Click yes. So let's create stair again. Click. And then specify our dimension for the width 4.1. Then after setting the run width, let's double check the type. Let's make sure na monolithic stair yung naka select. And then after that 2 is being set, we can now go to the elevations of our stairs. So I want it to be from the finished grade level up to first floor level. But I won't align it into first floor. I want it to be lower in the first floor. 25 mm lower from the first floor. So after setting this one, Serevit is it calculates the dimensions from here. So sabi niya we have two risers. So click kahit saan lang muna. Click here and then click around here hanggang sa makita mo itong isang thread. Click. And then let's create our landing. Click the landing button and then click this create sketch. Now let's create our boundary of the sketch. Let's click this rectangle tool. Zoom in. Let's click this right here and then here. You'll see that is uh, it is aligned to the exterior wall once it turns into blue. Yan, yan. Click and then click uh, press keep twice in the keyboard to exit the sketch of the landing. Then click this line, then let's set it into one meter. Yan. Let's click check to create the landing. And then click the thread or the run. So click the move. Ang command ng move is MV, so let's use the command MV. Click right here and then click right here. Make sure that it will snap at the end. Kung hindi siya mag-snap, press tab on your keyboard. Yan, it will snap. Click. So now, nakalagay na yung stair natin. Then let's click check. It will give us a warning. Let's just press X for now. Then go to the 3D view. Delete natin yung railings. So now we have created the entrance stair. Then gawin naman natin yung interior stair natin. Check the let's check the dimensions first. 2.1. So let's create a stair architectural then stair. So let's let's check that make sure this the monolithic stair ang type natin. Then for the run width let's use 1000 uh 101 meter width and then let's check the base from level 1 to level 2. It's it's correct. So now we have risers of 17. So 9 yung tito, then 8 dito on side. So let's create stair. Actually, when I create stair, I do it outside and then rearrange the dimension, then move it to, to its proper location. So it's just my preference. So click here, gawa tayo ng 9. Nine risers. You can see it on the dito na side. Yan yung seventeen risers created. One remaining. Yan. And then make sure na. Then just make sure that it is nine risers created. So select nine risers. Click. And then let's create the 
8 remaining racers around here kahit sana muna as long as makita mo as long as makita mo yung temporary lines click and then click 8 racers created 0 remaining so if you see that 0 remaining click around here to finish the creation of this there so the dimension of the wall partitions from the interior finish to here is 2100 so let's dimension these stairs di click the line then click the line of the run click so it is set into 2.44 skip then click the run magiging blue na yung dimension na meaning editable na yan so click then change it into 2.1 yan so click the dimension to delete so sakto na yung stair natin dito sa paglalagyan natin so let's select the stairs then move mv sa keyboard click yung edge then let's transfer it around here so make sure that it's snap lalabas yung pink na square end point click then nakalagay na yung stairs natin then click check to finish the stair creation so let's look at it in the 3d view so ayan yung stairs natin by the way if you have problem navigating in 3d view kung paano siya i-rotate paano siya galawin i have created a separate video named how to navigate how to navigate in 3d view the link is in the description below so medyo mataas yung discussion nun kaya i separated it so if you want to learn how to do it so check it okay so now let's proceed so here in these stairs let's delete the railings click then delete so by the way if you create stairs in revit it will also create railings but you can also create separate railings so it's not a problem here in the revit so since nagawa na natin yung stairs natin so okay na yung circulations ng ground floor natin let's create now our second floor 